Okay, I just wanted to show a remote start unit that I've been working on for months now. Um, here and there, just in my spare time, I haven't devoted um, solid, solid time to it. It's just kind of been in my spare time, so it's taken forever. Um, but it's a remote start with cellular capability. So um, you don't need to be within range of your vehicle as long as you have uh, cellular service for your car um, and you've got internet connection to your phone. You could even use Wi-Fi on your phone if you wanted, um, just as long as your phone can get to the internet in some shape or form. Uh, it's a remote start unit. So the chip that I've built it off of here is a um, particle electron and it is a wireless um, chip that is um, cellular. So this is the main control board here. Um, it's got door locks, ignition, accessories, um, all that kind of stuff. And I originally built this for my friend's car, but it's I've put so much time and effort now into the the CAD drawings and the software and the apps and everything that I think I'm actually going to try to wedge this into my Highlander. So anyway, we'll go ahead and open up the app here. And we'll launch it. And it's going to load up the data here. So there we can see it's currently 83 degrees in here. Yep, it's warm. Uh, and 41% humidity. And you can see the vehicle is not currently remote started. Um, and it is not force killed. So a force kill we put in there in case the vehicle's ever stolen. Um, it will cut the ignition. Well, it can cut anything you connect it to. Um, I believe he's going to either put it on the fuel injection or the fuel pump um, so that if he issues a kill car command, um, basically the vehicle just dies where it's at. Um, and then we're actually talking about making it honk the horn in a very unique fashion that makes it sound like someone's trapped in it rather than just a, a standard alarm. So anyway, so um, I'll start it off. We'll tell it to start car. You'll see sending the command. So basically it turns on the ignition to accessory. Then it sets it to um, on essentially turns the key to the on position. Then for his vehicle, he's got a manual, so it pushes in the clutch and um, and then it uh, initiates a start on the vehicle. So you can see up here that the uh, accessory and the ignition are on. And they're ready to go and you can see that the app is now reporting that the vehicle is remote started. Um, at this point, he can either click take over, which will basically hand the car back over. Um, so once you jump in, turn the key, on you're ready to go um, you can either press the brake or you can click the takeover icon and then basically this system will back itself out and then um, since you've already have the key in and in and turned on then you're ready to go um, and it'll take over so I can issue a takeover command and you'll see it'll shut down accordingly and then the vehicle report that it is no longer uh, remote started. So if I issue a kill command that will gray out everything. Essentially it um, kills the relay that's that's controlling the fuel injection or the fuel pump. Um, you can see that the, the vehicle is now force killed and the buttons for takeover, start, kill, they're, they're completely disabled and won't do anything um, until you click resume car. And then like I said we were talking about having the horn module down here go absolutely insane um, if that's triggered. So we'll go ahead and tell it to resume. It'll send it over cellular, comes back, everything's good. So if we want to do like an unlock doors, I can click unlock doors and it'll hit the doors for an unlock. Um, we can do a lock door. It hits the relay for lock doors. Um, we can do windows, like if he wants to roll his windows down, we can do windows down. You see it has to turn on the ignition for that um, because his windows require ignition to do that. Um, and then same thing with rolling the windows up. You'll see that it actually turns the ignition on for that as well as the window relay down here to roll the windows down. And then uh, last but not least, it's got a horn. If he just wants to show it off to his friends, he can hit honk horn. There we go and it'll honk the horn twice or whatever whatever you want to configure it to do um, but um, yeah and then there's a password box here 
um, that I haven't um, enabled yet in the app that will make it so if someone gets a hold of your phone, say a small child or something like that, um, they will not be able to kill the car or start the car um, without a password. So it'll it'll be password required um, to do that. So anyway, that's uh, that's the cellular system, and for two dollars ninety nine cents a month for virtually unlimited starts um, and commands, it's a really slick little system. Um, I'll try to keep you guys updated as I uh, go through it and put it in his vehicle, and then hopefully eventually mine. So anyway, just thought I'd share.